Hello, this is Katie coming to you to give you a tutorial today on how to make a video using Google Photos. So here I have my Google Photos open into my photos and I'll go over to For You. And there's options up here to do album, prints, movie collage, animation. I'm gonna select movie and then select new movie. Now I'm gonna select the clips that I wanna use in my video. I'm gonna choose from a little pool day that we did. Okay, then I'm gonna click create. All right, so the Google Movie has already actually populated all of it and they've already edited my videos down into shorter clips. The dark gray areas are the clips that are gonna be showing in the video. So as it is right now, it's actually pretty great and cute and I like it. But let's say I wanna make some adjustments to this. So I can go in to each selected clip and if you wanna just see from that specific clip in the whole timeline, you clip, touch on the picture of that clip. It'll take you to that one, it'll show me what this clip was. So let's say I wanna lengthen this clip and take a different section of it. Then I can touch this clip again and see what now is playing in this video. Don't get in. But I also don't wanna hear me saying don't get in. <laughs> so I can go in and mute that clip and now, you'll only hear the music instead of the video sound. Okay, let's say that I have a longer clip, say something that's about 50 seconds long, and I want a 10 second bit here and a 10 second bit there, but I don't want the whole clip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that particular clip I want, and then I'm gonna go to the dots and select duplicate. Now what I have here are two of the same clip and the exact same part of the clip are highlighted. So now I can switch that and now I have the same clip, but it's going to be broken up into different portions. Now I can also mix and match the order. So these two clips are from the same clip. So what I can do is I can click and drag this and put it near the end so that now that portion is in a different part of the, the video. So now what I can also do is I can go in, so let's say I want to mute all of my video, which I tend to do quite a bit at the time, just because it's a little less distracting, but I also do sometimes like to have the sound of the video because then you can hear the laughter and the joy of the children in the moment or just of our family joking and playing. But let's say I've gone through all my clips and I've decided, I've selected how I want the sound to be in the video clips. I can go up here to the musical note and I can either add my own music or I can add theme music or no music. And so if you click the theme music, it's actually gonna be music that's available to you through Google. And this music on here is royalty free, which means you can post it on any media platform and it won't be flagged as a copyrighted piece of music. So if you were to use a popular song by Maroon 5 or anyway, whoever, um, if you were to post it on a social media platform, sometimes it will be flagged. And if you wanted to monetize those videos, as in you wanted to try to build your YouTube channel or Instagram or something like that, a lot of times those sound bits will be recognized and you won't be able to monetize those because the rights belong to the original song creator. Whereas on here, these are royalty free, so you can select any of them and put them to your video and post them and not run into any of that problem. So, and they have lots of cute songs. You can also do more, if you're doing a slower paced video, let's say it's a romantic video of you and your partner or spouse, then you can do something like this too. Which, it's nice, they have a pretty good variety of that. They also have um, music platforms or websites called, uh, that are royalty free websites. You can just Google that. The one that I currently use is called Epidemic Sound. It has some really amazing music on it that I really enjoy. And that's what I use for all of my YouTube videos so that I don't have to worry about the royalty um, conflict. So I've chosen my music. Let's say we'll do, if I had a chicken, I'm gonna select that. It's, it's now switching the music. And let's say I love my video as it is. I'm gonna save it to my phone. 
save it to Google and then what I can do is I can go and I can save it to my phone I can save the video down to my phone and then I could post it onto social media um, platforms and there you have it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that I've made it a little bit easier for you to know how to compile your videos into a one spot and it's nice that it's on Google Photos um, in the cloud you can watch them from any place and you can share them with anyone it's pretty cool